What's up, YouTubers? Roughsack here. And as you can see, I'm looking at my score streaks here, and you know what? I've been trying to get dogs for a long time, and um, on this particular day, this particular game, I go, you know what? I'm going to run dogs. And I think I go AGR, Orbital VSAT, and dogs, because... What was his name? I really wanted. To, I really wanted to get this sort of uh, this monkey off my back. Um, I did get a twenty-seven and zero. If I had dogs and if I had swarm, I would have got both of them. But that wasn't to be. You know, sometimes you're running uh, different kill streaks and you get a really good game, and that's just the way it is. You don't have the what you're going for, what you wish you could get. But um, that was another gameplay. Um, that was 27 and 0. It was a triple stealth chopper, triple AGR, <laughs> triple UAV. But on this particular day, I decided on what I think for me is possibly the worst map because there are so many pokey little holes. I was going to go for dogs. And this is what happened. And you probably know what's happening. Because if you read my Twitter, you would know what's going on. <clears throat> but I am running here with my... Um, most favourite weapon on this game now, which is the LSW, which is an amazing piece of weaponry. Once you um, once you fix its shortcomings, like its aim down sights time, like its hip fire, um, its slowness for getting around, you pick up on all these things: quick draw, laser, lightweight, dexterity, and um, you can pretty much run this like an assault rifle. And that's what I love about it. You can run it like an assault rifle with a 75 clip with a really good rate of fire and you can get some bloody good kills. Now, um, this was a pretty dirty, I like to call this the Dirty Dogs video because it's not my best gameplay with this gun by far. Um, even my 27-0 is probably not my best gameplay. Um, I've had some more active ones. Um, I do tend to post up a little bit. It is an LMG and I assume with an LMG you do actually post up. That's what you do. And I'll do a few stupid things in here. I probably could have got the dogs earlier, but um, outdone by the shotgun there. What do you expect? But you know what? Then I say, okay, you can do short range, I can do medium to long, and then I get shot in the back. But um, yeah, as you can also see, I'm sporting a very, uh, I think that guy's AFK. Okay. Very, what I like to think of, do you remember the old western, I don't know, when I was a kid there was these pistols, like like revolvers that you could buy from like the shops. I made of plastic obviously, but they're obviously some sort of replica of a, of a real fucking pistol. And it used to have like this engraved sort of metal look, and it was like patterns and stuff, and that's what this camo reminded me of, and I wanted to get it. It's the, obviously it's the Pack-A-Punch camo, for any of you that know, it's the first camo that I've ever bought, and the only camo I'll ever buy. Um, it is sort of ugly, but I sort of like it. I find it ugly and sexy at the same time. It's really hard to describe. Um, and I've got a few gameplays with this particular gun using the uh, the dual band with this camo, and it is it is the ugly stick. But here I decide: do I cap the flag, or do I try and steal this guy's care package? I go for the care package. Um, I don't know where he is. I'm hoping that he's flanking back to the flag. I see it. I think great. Oh, Hunter Killer. If you're watching the kill cam, you'll see the guy running from behind the rock. He gets done by his own Hunter Killer. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I was like, what the hell? But, um, yeah. Um, I actually like the iron sights on this. I really enjoy it. And, like I said, you fix the hip fire, you fix the aim down sights, and it can be quite a beastly gun. I'm lucky not to get a double of three guys there. But, uh, yeah, I... I really don't know what else to say. I, I do know, want to tell you one thing. I am speaking in a funny tongue. I have been oh, wow. drinking my new um, beer, or new beer system, I should say, not new beer. It's called the Tap King, and I will leave a link in the description below for people in Australia. I don't know overseas if they have the same thing. Um, there is probably something similar, but it's basically like a little home keg system. Now, I know Heineken have their own one. And whatnot, but you can put different beers into this system. It lays down sideways so it fits in your fridge beautifully. And this is where my run starts. One of our guys gets an orbital and it really makes all the difference, really. I reckon without this orbital, I wouldn't have got half the kills I would have got because I wouldn't be sure and I probably would have got pulled down. But um, yeah, the Tap King is wonderful. It's a little bit too easy to drink. I'm waiting for this guy here. He's looking, wait for him to turn and chase him. And uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit easier to drink. Every time I go to the fridge, I just see the beer looking at me and it says, pour me. Pour me just a little. Have just a little. And I have a little. And I'm like, oh, I might have a top up. Yeah, you know what? I might have a top up. That would be really, really nice. And I have a little bit more. And I have a... Before I know it, I probably had a few too many. And I'm like, it's during the week. I've got work tomorrow. I need to sober up a little bit. But yeah, Tap King. If you're in Australia, um, it's a little bit more expensive than buying a case, but the taste is fresher, crisper, and I really do recommend uh, trying it out. Uh, you may not think it's that great, but I think it's a good little system. And I think there's about six or seven different beers that you can plug into the system. And uh, yeah, so try that out. Tap King. Isn't that fabulous? So here on Cove, as you already know, and... Uh, <clears throat> I did try to stay on the outskirts of this map because once you get up in the uh, middle section, it's just crazy town, and I always die. So I thought if I flank, run the run the outside of the map, he just spawned AFK. He's running away. There we go. We get the AGR. We get the VSAT, and I'm like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? This is where I'm starting to get panic. End of the round. I don't want to die, so I'm just posting up, being nice and safe. Don't you think the, the camo makes the gun look old? It's like an old style rifle. It's got that look about it. I think it does. I think it's pretty nice. <laughs> so also, my um, Q&A will be finished by the end of this week. I have all the questions accumulated. I have everything ready to go. Um, I'm trying to get one of my family members to do it with me. So we'll wait and see. Half the team dropped out. Thank you very much. That's great. So 16 and 6, nothing special. You know what I found? I was like, I was... Didn't feel like I was doing very well in this game until like, I got my VSAT. But then I was like looking at the scoreboard and I was like, you know what? I've had heaps better games than this. And I haven't got very good, very good score streaks. So a matter of capping flags, you know, friends running good score streaks as well. And good teammates calling shit out. Um, the guys I was playing with, I was playing with for most of the day. And we were pretty good at communicating and, you know, calling out shit. So... I want to give a bit of a shout out to them. Give a shout out to Soft Sack, Liquid Snake. Uh, who else was on this team? I can't remember who else was on this team. I'm going to forget someone and I'm going to get in trouble. I know. I'm trying to look up at the. Um, oh, Bonzolato. That's Hado, Hayden. And I can't remember who else. Who else I'm looking up at the. I'm trying to look at the feed. I'm trying to look at the chat. Nah, eh, I can't see anyone else. But if you're there, you know, I love ya. So I'm so close to my dogs now. I'm, I'm like. Uh, uh, I get a little bit dirty. This is what I call dirty. Look, I'm just... I'm, I'm camping. Okay, I'm going to say it. I'm camping. I'm waiting for someone to run out so I can shoot them and get my fucking dogs. I just want the dogs. I want the... I want the monkey off my back. I want the dogs gone. Nobody's coming. I'm like, fuck. And then I'm talking to the boys. I'm not telling them that I've got dogs, but I'm saying, you know... Are we capping a flag? Are we capping a flag? So this guy go up here. Get the fucking assist. And I'm like, shit. Run away. I don't know why. Lie down. Camp. That's right. Bonds is there covering. Losing Take the A flag. Next on the list is the A flag. He's got him covered. Counter UAV inbound. Cap that A flag and we are going to get the gonna first little doggies. And I remember I said to Softsack, I said, hey, Softy. And he goes, what? And I said, who let the dogs out? And I was just fucking carrying on. And uh, Liquid Snake was like, oh, you're fucking kidding me. That'll do me. He, said, he actually said that. That'll do me. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think I go without, I think, I think I carry on here without dying to the end of the game and get an AGR right at the end of the game. But, um, guys, LSW, I would like some of you, uh, guys that I watch to, uh, get yourselves into the LSW before this game is over. Oof, nearly died then. Ah, look at the gun, look how good it is. If you don't like the iron sights, put a scope on it. Just, just use three attachments, put a scope on it. Put dual band on it, use smoke. And just fucking, oh my god. I, you know what? I've never got so many decent kill streaks um, with this gun. I've got more Warthogs than I've ever gotten before. I probably could have got Swarm a couple of times um, if I was running the right kill streaks. So I will probably go try and go for a Swarm next. Um, it is on the list, but dogs is what I wanted. I remember I brought out a video for World of War getting dogs, saying how I'd like to get dogs in all the other um, Treyarch games. And. First Black Ops, well, I don't really play it that much, but anyway, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, look, at least I've got dogs here, and I'm fucking stoked about that. Um, everybody left bar one guy. Dogs on Cove, 
Rossack finally getting the monkey off his back and um, not having a particularly fantastic game but getting there in the end and um, we pretty much dominated. 29-6, 5 captures, 5 defends. So, you know, I played the game. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and um, Q&A should be coming up Monday or Tuesday next week. So, stay tuned for that. Um, thanks to everyone who's involved in that and, yeah, guys, this has been Roughsack. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the other side.